According to Google Trends, the search term Golang has been on a pretty drastic and still pretty steady decline since the early to mid-2020. And do you still remember when Go was concluded to be the most promising programming language out of any other languages by the JetBrains survey? Well, in the following years, the spot was then shared by other languages like Kotlin and Python as the languages that developers plan on migrating to. With all of these not-so-promising factors considered, one might ask, is the Go programming language flawed in some fundamental ways to deserve this? Is the Go programming language no longer relevant in 2022. To answer these questions, let's take a look at the industry adoption data first. First of all, let's take a look at the Stack Trends data choice for the Go programming language. In terms of job listing, there are almost 3,000 job listings currently for Go developers. Compare that with 12 months ago at around 1,000, that's almost a 200% increase in terms of a job listing. Contrary to the Google Trends data, which we're going to dig a little bit deeper into in just a couple of minutes here to see what the problem really is. At least in terms of job listing, there seems to be actually a upward trajectory since the mid 2020. On Stack Overflow, we can also see a continuous growth in terms of a number of tags that's related to Go over the years and especially with this spike most recently. And if we switch our attention to the most recent survey on golang.org, we can see that the most needed feature in Go that is not yet available is generics, which is actually conveniently confirmed in the latest GoForCon event a few weeks ago to be included in the next, the very next 1.18 Go release, which would lead me to believe that there's going to be even more adoption to the Go programming language in the next couple of years, at least for those companies, those developers that are hesitating on whether they should migrate to Go because of the lack of genetics. So then the question now becomes, what is the deal with Google Trends data points and the surveys that more recently conducted by JetBrains? For that, we are going to dive into the surveys by JetBrains first. Even though on these key takeaways in 2020, we are seeing other languages such as Kotlin and Python alongside with Go as languages that developers are planning on migrating to. And in 2021 here, we're actually seeing the top five languages. If we dig into the data a little bit deeper here, such as this graph right here, we can see that Go remains to be on the number one programming language that developers that are using other programming languages are planning on migrating to. On top of that, the current majority of adoptions of the Go programming language are actually coming from startup companies with a thousand employees or less, as you can see from this chart right here. And as these startup companies grow in the next couple of years, my bet would be that there will be a significant increase in terms of available job positions for Go developers like you and I. Especially since Go is a language that developers typically scale up to instead of running away from as these companies grow. Also, Go is known to have a vibrant online communities such as this subreddit from right here with over 160,000 members. And I certainly envision Go to become the de facto backend slash cloud development programming language in the next couple to a few years instead of Java currently. In terms of what is going on with the downward trajectory on Google Trends for the search term Golang, I suspect that it might be the fact the official Golang team is actually migrating everything from golang.org to go.dev. So if I type in golang.org right here and hit enter, it's actually going to redirect me to go.dev. I think that it contributes to uh, what people are searching for on Google Trends, I'm assuming. Because if we go to the Go programming language here, even though there is a slight stagnation in terms of uh, how much people are searching for the Go programming language, we can still see a upward trend, especially recently for 
the Go programming language rather than this choice right here. Especially since those data points are in contrary to what a Stack Overflow is showing us right here. Am I missing something here? If you have any better insights on what to make of these data points, please let me know in the comment section down below. Even with all these things considered, the fact that Go has a supreme concurrency support, supreme compile time and runtime and write time speed, supreme scalability capabilities, and the fact that there are a ton, just a ton of new amazing hip technologies that are being developed every single day in the Go programming language that I can potentially take part in, I would not want to spend 100% of my focus in becoming an absolute expert in any other programming languages besides the Go programming language in the next few years. If you're feeling the same, then make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and pick up your free, yes, free, Golang Chi Sheets at golangdojo.com slash Chi Sheets. And I'll see you ninjas in the next video.